All right, welcome. Uh, hello, I'm Loretta Nash, and this is my show, the Loretta Nash Show, Lord's Blog. Uh, okay, uh, this is a Monday of all weird things, and it's November the fourteenth, twenty twenty-two. Um, the topic that I'm gonna try to. Whoa, wait a second. I forgot to do something. I always forget to do this. So I'm, I'm not really used to doing doing this, but um, I forget to uh put my clock on. Okay, anyway, uh, I have a few topics that I would like to go through. Um, I just got ooh, I just got through painting in in my little studio. Um, some uh pieces on uh their art. They're the size of black. Uh, well, they're black art cards that I cut years ago. They're uh off on construction not construction paper, cards black card stock. And uh uh this weekend I decided to take a few of them and put some gesso on it and g painted some things and uh painted a few things and I was going uh but this is not my topic. This is just what I was just looking at this yellow paint on my hand. Um, basically, you know, just come up with some ideas. Since I do sell artist cards also. Um, and most artist cards are, you can only find them if you go to conventions and comic book stores and stuff like that. Uh, I'm, I've been doing it off and on. I looked through the 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 cards that I have. I have some all the way back to 2011. I've actually had more further back, but the uh, the others, you know, time got them and they were just wasn't a big thing back then. Okay, well, our topics are one of our topics is what is my prices. Well, <laughs> that's the funny thing. I have a lot of people around here. Who just like to get uh things from people that have a like a a bigger name uh I don't show much I've never really showed as much as I should. Some people know me, but I am such a forgetful person that most people just totally forget about that I can do it, and then on top of that, I don't forget, but I have to go. And try to get a job, or get a a get a full time job instead of sticking to the art, which I've been trying to do for forever. But you know, you have to make money, and in this area, uh, most people are not up. Some people are up in the art, like art, but most people are not. They're just you know. You know, rustic art is pretty much their speed. Uh, there are, are a few people that will go beyond that, but mostly that's the speed around here is just rustic or painting parties or something like that. Um, I do try to charge the best that I can with the, uh, what kind of stuff I use. But I, I've already tried so many times. I've popped up since 2000, yeah, 2009 was the first one I had, uh, uh, they used to have a summer thing last year. We didn't, well, the pandemic hit and then last year, uh, I was the only one. And then I just pretty much gave up on it because I found a job, <laughs> even though I didn't have that job, but only the, through the trial the probation period which that's the biggest thing I really hate is you have a probation period around here and that's only like um a few months a, a a day a few days a few months you know there's a lot of probation periods and pretty much that's all why my jobs seem like I have so many jobs 
but okay. My uh, let me get back. Um, I do charge what I think I have. I should, but I have other folks that think that that's too much, and I don't use the uh what everybody else is use, or I don't use the the craft paint or anything. I really actually have the really good the good paint that I can afford. I mean, just when the pandemic hit, I went and bought two sets of coat two sets of paint. One of it I really didn't like and so I used it all up. It was blech. it was yeah, like I really said it was blech. And then I'm starting on the new set. It's uh, all right. And I did buy me some new brushes too. I really didn't need them, but I went ahead and got me some good brushes. I got a set that I only use for the watercolors. One set that I use only for the acrylics. And one set that I use only for the oils. But um, I, you know, I have some other brushes that I have that I had for years. Okay, as I was trying to say, the prices. Well, they suggest online when you go and do the research, they always suggest that you um, charge at least one dollar an inch, a square inch. So an eight by ten, if you do it what they suggest, that is eighty dollars for an eight by ten. Oh no 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 no! That's not what people want to want to do. Is eighty dollars for an eight by ten? Well, it's eight times ten is eighty, and then you're supposed to do one in a dollar for each in, inch. Well, that's where the eighty dollars come in. That's where it comes in for the the eleven by fourteen, a hundred and fifty four. That's why the sixteen by twenties cost three hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, but nobody's like, no, 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 no. Because they probably think I'm using the, you know, the, what's the paint that they call it? Apple wood or some of the apple, or the, 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 I don't go on, the, when I go down the art aisle, when I do go to Walmart, I don't go, I go down that aisle. Yeah. But I don't get the paint that's over on the other, on one side. I get the paint on the other side that has where the canvases are. Yeah, I might use a, might use Crayola pencils because they're smoother and I like to use them. And I got I, I got some um colored pencils in here that are flesh tones that I really hadn't used them yet because no one wants to order it. Order a a, a colored pencils, but you know, I got a couple sets of them that the skin tones are exactly the way I, I need them. But, you know, since I'm supposed to be highly trained, uh, we use colored pencils a lot. And my Miss uh, Ross, she had us to use um, Crayolas. And then whenever I got older, I, of course, I went to the art the art center and got the gooder the best the better ones like the um the oh what's them uh prim, um prima colors you know the ones that cost twenty bucks just for the container I I have some of them in in there and some uh, others that were individual were fifty cents for individuals and I got blenders and I got the nut the little Tortilla, tortillas, I got the tortillas, and I got the blending pencils, I mean, I can do pencils, I got all the stuff, because when I was working as a photographer, and some of the other things, the pencils were easier to, uh, to carry, and yes, I also have all the different, um, and the graphites, I got all of them. The darkest graphite I think I have in there is a 11. No, it's a 10. 10 or 9B, which is really, really dark. I did a um, 
a 16 by 20 of my from a photograph of my husband and him and his dad they were dressed up in cowboy outfits and the or you know with guns and liquor and uh bank robbers like you know you know just an old anti old uh and it was sapia color and i copied it and we had it on the wall for a while um uh, and then of course um of course i use acrylics and then when miss mary uh gave me the oils uh i of course used the oils so i'm very flexible and then whenever i started buying those art snacks uh i got some water soluble past uh water solubles and some other stuff that they gave gave a uh well I paid for them. Huh. I mean I got a nice they were nice. Those art snacks were really, really nice. And I got the made sure I got the good the 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 one that was like I would spend fifty dollars and it would have a sample of everything. Didn't realize I did eight of them. <laughs> Okay, uh, prices. Well, besides, okay, let me get back to the prices. So, everyone around here kind of, you know, don't want to pay the $80 for an 8x10. Well, I went and, uh, filled it, put in an application over here at a studio that here. Well, there is a market here. It's just nobody wants to pay over $350. That's, you know, they don't want to pay over that much. Oh, and that really irritates me a little bit because I know I can do better than, because $350 will just pretty much just uh, keep my lights on in my house. That's it. And even though I, it's been, I spend like maybe two or three days on it. I mean, I literally am that pretty... I'm fairly fast, so if I actually set my set my time and do stuff, I it I I my cable my uh trolley in here, sixteen by twenty trolley in a uh, color pencil. It took me a month to do it. No, two three months to do it. I mean, I blended it and and I used Crayolas and. Uh, Crayolas and the little extra pencils I had. I mean, it looks really, really nice. And it took me months to do that because I took my time. See, if I took take my time, I can do pretty well. But if I'm going to speed through it, it's going to look like everybody else's stuff. That's the one thing I do notice. If I speed through everything, it looks like everybody else. And then that's what they want to give the price for, is what everybody else is charging. I mean, I've, uh, there's this one lady, she charges, um, what she charges? $80 for, for, a, for a little, for a little one. I mean, not even bigger, not even an 8 by 10 And then, uh, there's a one person, $25 for, uh, a four by four. I mean, l really? I mean, and then, of course, going to this, uh, since 2009, the artist, the, the market, I'm, was pretty much the only artist up there, and, you know, they really wanted to go to the farmer's market for the food, because we had, um, a, a couple of bakers there, and, and a couple of farmers, and uh, they might want the guy that does the wood carvings for the knives and the spoons. And then we had this one lady came up there, had, had rosin before the pandemic hit. And then, of course, me with my paper and canvas and wood. I mean, my brother gave me some wood uh, that the karate class, the Taekwondo, the martial arts class 
would break a board and hit his uh the master brewer you know gave him the bunch of boards and said can you do what can you do with them and and he gave them to me and i had tons of them i mean i know and because i just threw away a bunch of them i just threw away a bunch of uh god's eyes too because we really liked going to the oriental market i mean the oriental food place and my daughter liked to get the use the chopsticks to prove that she can do the chopsticks and i had chopsticks and since i learned how to make god's eyes from a navajo i mean literally in arizona i think it was kindergarten preschool i know it was little young really really young i could do those god's eyes oh i got taught how to do those god's eyes you know those little uh which they are dream catchers that look like little triangles that you know got different colors in it i could do those you know easy and i showed showed somebody how to do it because i was taught by a real navajo and and nobody believes me when i tell uh and well anyway the prices um is not that i don't charge enough it's just I don't, I don't know. I really don't know because some of the other folks, they charge the higher ones and they'll snap them up like crazy. But I put that price on them and I don't, I don't even get a chance to um do it. I really wish to, I, I, it wasn't that way, but you know. You know, having a uh, really having a degree and knowing exactly what you're doing, and not really having the the stuff that everybody else has. I mean, it is kind of a little irritating, a little bit. But like I said, if I slow down, like a lot, I mean, most of them probably take, you know. A few weeks to a few weeks to get done, and that I can get things. I can do a portrait that look the still looks a little cartoony, but still looks almost like the photograph in eight hours in color pencil. And if I can do that, even in 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 acrylics, I mean, I mean, I don't do hyper realism, but I do fairly close. Okay, um, I know I belly ache too much about it, and I know, yeah, it's a call, like my, um, uh, um, my husband's aunt said last night, it's a competition. Well, yeah, it's a competition, I know that. Art has always been a competition. I knew that in the first place, because, you know, I kind of got a bad friend of mine, and this is in, what? Fourth grade, yeah, fourth grade. I mean, he won the con won the contest fair and square for a little a piece of paper that was colored, and you know I got kind of got a little upset, but you know, and he he does pretty good right now. Um, he has his own business right now that he paints rooms, and I don't even think he puts tape. On to get uh, the crisp lines in the rooms. I mean, as far as no, as as far as I know, that's what he's doing, is doing that. Because he was one time he was working at the same place I was working, but he was in actually in the store. I wasn't part of the store. Okay, well I'm down to a minute on this half of uh this thing so uh that's all i can think of right now i know i didn't really go into the prices but you know my prices i try to give them what people want but it just irritates because i got i got gas i gotta pay some of the stuff i have to pay for the gas myself and i Right now, I do not have a full 
full-time job or even a part-time job because I had to leave that uh stay with my husband uh while he was um very badly sick okay well I'm going to have to go on a break here in a second so um I'll see you in a bit and I'll finish this out Okay, uh, now uh, I do, I am trying to uh, write my focuses down of what topics I'm going through, but of course I do like I do in my artwork. I jump around, I jump on all kinds of stuff. Okay, uh, the second topic that I have on here, I do have is what style sale in your area. Well. Like I said, uh, most of everything here sells uh, is rustic. I mean, there's a few people that I know that are higher. I mean, not higher. I mean, uh, mostly everybody has a certain type of stuff they like. Like, uh. You know, and we are in, or I am in, a rural, rural area, rural area, which you know, most of everybody that's here is, you know, know somebody who's a farmer, and uh, they, and of course, sorry about the boom booms. Uh, I got this neighbor that does this. Um, I mean, uh, but um. We have a lot of, you know, rural stuff. And then on top of that, we're right outside Memphis. And most people go to Memphis. If they can get an interior decorator, they go to Memphis and get the interior decorator that's in Memphis. And, you know, uh, the ones in Memphis or in the, uh, around or even up in Jonesboro, you know they have a certain type of art, art or stuff in their home that they like to do. I mean, that's what I learned whenever I took art in a home. You know, it depends on your house type. We uh, that class we had to you know you had a certain house type. <coughs> Excuse me. You had to you know put the inside what. If it was a certain bungalow house, like say for example, this bungalow that I have in, I live in, is a small house. So small houses, bungalow, when I think of it is nineteen fifties, you know, forties, fifties, you know, little bitty small houses. Um, um right next door I have a shotgun house. Uh that's what we call them is is they're called shotgun houses because they're long houses and that you can actually go one door and if you can shoot, that's why it's called shotgun house. It's, uh, you can shoot and it goes out the back door, you know, pure and simple and easy. Well, there's a shotgun house. Well, shotgun houses normally mean a uh, farm, farmer stuff or, or rural stuff. And then, um, Ethnic, see, wise, uh, a lot of farmers, and uh, I hate to say some other stuff, but you know, I'm trying to be kosher and and not say it. You know, we have farmers that you know were of this ethnicity and this ethnicity and this ethnicity, and then of course me coming in, uh, we, uh, my mom and my dad. Rural Mississippi, you know, they have, you know, oh, you know, pretty much, you know, dirt poor. And they, you know, they had to learn what they had to learn and everything. So that that's what pretty much sales around here. And then, of course, most of the stuff has to have a Christian thing. I mean, we do got some oddballs that like. Gothic, gothic, and and, but you gotta think the whenever I hear gothic, 
since I took art and went into art history and stuff, I don't think the black stuff, you know, the black stuff and the 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 upside down crosses and all that. Whenever, uh, uh-uh, whenever I think of Gothic, I think of cathedrals, church, you know, crosses, uh, Jesus hanging on the cross, you know, pretty much the stuff that I learned that Gothic style was. You know, Gothic was before Renaissance. So, uh, yeah, yeah. The Gothic style was before Renaissance. And then, you know, that's what I was thinking. Um, uh, why? And then, oh, I don't know. Okay, and then I did have another topic. It says, why don't I do stuff like others? Uh, what other? Others, others. Uh, well, I'm an individual person. I don't do the same like everybody else. I mean, I was with a a group of artists for a while th- for a while there. I mean, they were older older ladies, older ladies and gentlemen, uh and they, you know, they, you know, were stuck in their ways. And most of their their stuff that they like to do, you know, or they did it as a hobby. They really, you know, I mean, I don't know. It was just a, 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 I joined a group for a while. And it was fun and I liked it. and yeah, But everything just got where I couldn't do it anymore. There was a few few things that happened that I really don't, don't want to go into. But, you know, I really want to, but I really don't want to. Um. And, 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 you know, it kind of gets complicated because the, we had, it had to be like a meeting. We had our meeting and then we have a a demonstration and then we have food. That's pretty much basically what we had. And the meeting was like a formal meeting, you know, new business, old business current business, you know, all that, all that stuff. I didn't mind. Okay. And, and of course, let me get back to why I don't do stuff like everybody else. Well, <laughs> like I said, I'm not like everybody else. Never qu- kind of really fit in as much as I I would like. And I thought, you know, lived in, you know, country girl. And then strict family. Very strict family. Um, you know, really strict. Mom didn't, my mama didn't work. Uh, my dad was the only one that worked. Um, and then, of course, you know, he, his problems he had from Vietnam and and carrying it over and the responsibilities that, you know, we were supposed to have. And, of course, me being the oldest, I took the responsibility of, of what I needed to do because of being the oldest. And then at school, uh, because the only folks that really talked to me or even ha- ha- or the pro- the folks that had problems, like, uh, mental problems or something they would uh, might seem to migrate to us i mean it seemed like it anyway um because i guess they saw the the problems we because you know i was basically just a quiet kid you know junior high you know only uh talked to a friend of mine and then they try to mush us up together and and they a lot of things that they you know try to do, and then when you go out with someone with a disability, they really go a little get a little upset at you, or with some uh, even a slight disability. Oh yeah, yeah. Talking about that, my husband, like I may have mentioned before, had a very pronounced speech impediment. 
And then on top of that, he had, uh, uh, he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. So, of course, he can't, couldn't talk right, and he really didn't walk too right. I mean, even, we talk, I talked a little while with his aunt la last night, uh, you know, because she wanted to know where he was buried at. And I said, he has, he's not buried. He's sitting up here on, in, on, in a, on, up here on, on a shelf, <laughs> which is really weird. And I really didn't want to be that kind of, that kind of a widow. I was been thinking about putting him in the car, but you know, I'm not that kind. I mean, I did that, f thought about that for a little bit, and he got into a lot of stuff. He was more outgoing than I was, because all we could do is just go, basically just go to school, go to church, and then if we had the special thing that we go, we could go to, that if it didn't involve money, we could go to. I mean, that's basically my life. I wanted to get in the art club. Didn't work. Didn't get in the art club. Got in the si got, uh, at the junior high. Got into the social studies club. Well, it was the only club that was open. And I went and did that. And I got my dad mad at me about going into the social studies club. Instead of going into the art club like I was, was supposed to. My daughter, she's not even in a club right now uh, at all. And she could go into the clubs. I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not going to stop her. And that's pretty much what the art thing was, was like a club. The art, the artist society I was with was pretty much like a club. And just go and have, you know, have the meetings for, Basically, it was basically the same as going to that thing in junior high. And that didn't, you know, <laughs> couldn't go in any other club. I mean, band, I got got to go places in band, but that, that was because that was part of the class. And that was uh, nerve-wracking, too. I mean, there was a couple of times we had to do... um. We had to do our stuff before we got on the bus. I got on the bus. I had to spend two hours on the bus in the morning and about two hours on the bus in the afternoon to get home. And um, that one day that we had to do, um, what we had to do, we had to do something, how well we did on the, on our instrument and, uh, I missed the bus and my mama got mad at me and got so ticked off at me because I didn't tell her. I did too. I told her that we got a thing. I had to do it. And she wouldn't listen. It wouldn't. It, well, she didn't have a car. We didn't have a car, an extra car there at that time. Or we did have that extra car. We just didn't have the gasoline for it or the insurance or something we didn't have that. You know, she didn't like it because she had to, I had to wait a long time. I mean, sometimes we would get, I wouldn't get home. We leave here about 3.30. We can get home until about 5 on the bus. Oh, yeah. Oh, some high school kid tried to pull it on me one year. I was like, uh-uh, you can get there in five minutes and stuff. I did. And she didn't realize that I could do that. that I I I was a bus student. Yeah, a lot of folks don't. You know, a lot of people just see me and it just. I know I didn't never said about the prices. Well, because I don't know how to set my prices. I mean, I go by what other people says, and then I try to go and and get do the. The prices that the that I have my competitions one two three four competitions I know that are selling them at a certain price and if I try to sell it at that price I just get people look at me and then turn around and walk away. I've had that done to me so many times.
I've had a lot of stuff done to me. So many times like that. That I pretty much. Pretty much give up on stuff. Um. And you know. Most people that's what they probably think. Is because they don't want to do anything. Well if you've been. Tricked and. Uh. All kinds of stuff all your life. How are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to act? I mean. Probably said it. Don't remember. Getting di- dissed on a person in 7th grade. And then a lot of people would just talk to one person. And then they probably start a rumor. And try to get around to me. And it didn't work. Hmm. I mean. If I go and talk about all that. Man, there's a lot of them. I mean, in 11th grade, ooh, I came up with a really awesome story. And then I used that story again in college. It was an awesome story. It was, uh, you know, this girl just really did not like me at all. I don't know what I did to her. I didn't hang around with her. I didn't talk to her. Every time she would see me, she would look at me with blood curdles in, in her eyes and want to, want to always want to hit hit me or hurt me or, uh, you know, throwing curses on me. I don't know what she was doing, but you know, she had a bad attitude. I, I don't know what I did. I only had certain people that I would hang out with. You know. I mean, one girl was a bad girl. Was a really, really bad girl. I didn't know. I just, you know, talked to her. And then, of course, of all the nerds. And then, of course, the ones with, uh, you know, disabilities and problems and stuff like that. I mean, I didn't never, you know, had any problems with people. Because people are people coming. We have it all at the house. I mean. Dad didn't get diagnosed. With post traumatic stress. Until. Way up in the 90's. Yeah. And I know we had it all. There. And then my mom. You know. Had. We had all kinds of stuff. And. Oh. So. You know. Most everything has been kind of lit. And I wouldn't say much. And and people look at me and think I'm lazy. Because I'm, I'm big. I mean thick. Well I'm thick for a reason. Most of it's out of uh, necessity to keep my guard up. And and then on top of that. It could be the thickness because of all the stress I had to go through. For being the oldest, I'm the oldest, and then and then on top of that, I have to, I, you know, compromise as best as I can, and then I get told that I'm not compromising enough. I hated that part. Oh, I really hate that part of life that I don't. You don't compromise and you compromise and bend over backwards and you cross all the T's and you dot all the I's and J's and they they still say that you're not and then they come back in front of you and just chew you out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like to go off on that part because that seems like that's my life. Okay, well, um, I guess I, this is just a random. I was really supposed to focus on on prices and styles here in town and why I don't do with others, but it really didn't work out that way, did it? Okay, um, my part on this episode is just about up. I will continue or try another something else on the next episode. Episode? Episode? <laughs> I like the, uh, like I, uh, my accent changes every so often. I don't know. It's just something I do. Okay. Be sure to subscribe and check out my art on Laura's blog. And that is L-O-R-G 
dot b l o g. Uh, you can purchase the originals, or you can go go purchase products with the, uh, my work on them by googling me, Loretta Nash, or Lore, or West Memphis Artist. And I'll see you in on the next episode of Horse Block.